Hey guys, Liam here. Have you heard of Hunt Showdown? It's a PvPvE first person shooter, which means you're fighting real players online as well as NPCs. It was developed by Crytek, the makers of Crisis, and for a long time it simply didn't work on Steam Deck or Linux desktops, and this was due to easy anti cheat. However, they've now added it in for Linux, and so it just works. To make sure that it works, you need to search in your Steam library, that's not the Steam store, in your library for the Proton Easy Anti-Cheat runtime and ensure that is installed because often games that recently add it don't have this done automatically. And I've confirmed on Steam Database as well, we can see the Easy Anti-Cheat.so file which is there now for Linux. This is because they're using the older version of EAC and not the newer one from the Epic Online services. An important point that I'm going to tell you now before I go further in is that they have not announced this support yet, so keep in mind that this is subject to change. And we have seen it before where EAC seems to be enabled, and then a couple days or a couple weeks later it's broken. However, this doesn't just get added by accident, and it does work. Thanks to this, it now runs out of the box on Steam Deck and Linux desktop. What you're seeing here is me playing it on Steam Deck and I clearly have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. The game does have some tutorials but uh, they're not very clear. A lot of this game is just done by discovering, by playing and exploring, or going online somewhere and reading a full guide. It's somewhat popular as well, having anywhere between 10 to 20,000 players online each day, according to Steam database charts. Performance, of course, is the all-important question on Steam Deck, and with everything set on low, with the settings that I'm showing you here, it's actually quite acceptable. Setting the max frame rate to 45 in-game, and for the most part, it's actually quite smooth. With some obvious drops when it's doing shader compiling, when you're encountering new things and seeing new things, but honestly on Steam Deck it seems pretty playable overall. Really, I just wanted to get word out there that it's now working, but again, until the developer officially announces their plans, it could stop working in future. But at least now we can see some of what to expect from it on Steam Deck, and when I figure out what the heck I'm actually doing, it seems like it actually could be a lot of fun. Since my last two videos on the channel were showing brand new games not working well, it's also a really nice chance to show something working a bit better. What you're seeing here are clips of my honest early attempts at playing it online in the main hunting bounty hunting mode, where you have to search for clues to find your target to take it down. The problem of course is that other players are doing the same thing and you can all hear each other's gunshots from afar. So using melee weapons whenever you can is of course a good idea, having a silenced weapon or using various traps that don't set off a lot of noise. It's a tough game though for new players like me, but I think I'm going to play this quite a lot more because honestly, even on low details here and on the Steam Deck screen directly, I think it actually looks pretty good. And the performance is actually quite reasonable considering it's an open world game. Part of the issue of course though is that you're going to be playing against players on a normal PC who will be using a mouse. So if you want to get good at this you're going to need plenty of practice and I'm sure fans of the gyro on the Steam Deck will figure out some good settings for it. I'll leave you with a bit more gameplay so you can see how performance holds up on Steam Deck. There's absolutely no points given to me for skill here. Everything in this game was just scaring the crap out of me. I'm a big wuss. Why does everything have to make so much noise and scare me? Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll leave you with a full bit of gameplay here. And I will see you later.